hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to this video so guys in our previous video we have completed this uh, prepare callbacks uh, stays okay so in this video actually we'll uh, like try to write our training uh, like you can say components okay but uh, in this video actually i'll show you the notebook experiment so once everything is working in the notebook okay then i will uh, try to convert this notebook to the uh, like you can say our modular coding okay so first of all what i need to do i will uh, take another uh, like ipv file inside research okay so let me take so i will just click here i will name this file as st underscore uh, zero i think it should be zero four okay zero four dot ipv yeah so here uh, this stage actually i'm going to name it as uh, training okay training okay so let's uh, name it training and i will remove this thing i will take a code cell and i'll remove this one okay so the first thing actually what i need to do i think you remember uh, we are following the same thing but before that let me uh, close these are the thing because this is not required here yeah i'll also close this thing so first of all i'll uh, uh, come to this st3 notebook okay which is nothing but prepare callbacks so let me copy this thing and i'll paste it here okay uh, i'll select my uh, kernel okay now if you just see okay your present working directory it's research okay now i need to change to my cnn classifier now okay it's telling voice is not defined i think i executed this cell okay it's done now if i run the same command now you'll see i'm inside my cnn classifier okay so what i need to do first of all uh i'll be creating the entity okay so let me create the entity so this is my so this is my actually training configuration related entity okay as you can see here with that actually i also need my prepare callbacks because as i already told you I'll be using this callbacks okay in our training okay in our training pipeline so that's why actually I also need this thing okay if you want to do the experiment with this uh, prepare callback so I'll copy the same thing and uh, here I, I I will also take this thing okay yeah so only what I need to do I need to uh, create these are the configuration okay, inside my config.yaml okay so let me open my config.yaml and here I need to mention my training uh, like related configuration okay so let me do it so this is only your uh, training related configuration basically it will create one folder inside artifacts called training and inside that actually it will save your model okay after train the model it will save the model called model.h5 okay that's it so this thing actually i only need now if i open this uh okay thing now if you see that that root directory okay that root directory and my training model file path so here if you see after that actually i'm taking my updated base model file path which is nothing but uh, inside that i have my updated base model file path i think you, as you can see this is my updated base model uh, path okay then actually i'm taking my training data okay which is present inside my data ingestion okay this thing pet images so this path actually i'll be taking uh, from my previous uh, you can say uh, entity okay then i'm calling my params okay here if you see uh, inside params i defined i think some of the parameters okay uh, here if you see these are the parameter so from that actually i'm taking my epochs batch size data augmentation okay it's true or false and my image size okay so these are the uh, like you can say parameters i'm taking okay so that's it now let me execute this cell yeah so after that again i need to import some of the libraries so let me import uh yeah so additionally i also need tensorflow okay so i'll just write from tensorflow or let's import tensorflow as tf okay let me execute yeah it's done now what i need to do i need to create my configuration manager class okay so i will copy this same thing because as i already told you i will be using the same uh, like prepared callbacks configuration in my training stage also so i will copy this class and here i will just add my uh, training related configuration okay so let me add the below I will add my training related configuration okay so i have named it get training configuration and this should be the return type okay as i already mentioned here training configuration okay and inside that actually here if you see i'm just doing the same thing okay uh here first of all i'm uh, like taking my uh, 
like data directory okay then i'm also taking my parameters okay then i'm also taking my base model directory okay so these are the directory i'm taking one by one after that i'm creating the root folder and i'm returning everything okay inside that here if you see root directory uh this root directory okay then i'm mentioning my root directory here okay then training model file path updated base uh, model path okay then training data uh, then uh, epochs batch size everything i am defining here okay so this is nothing but your uh, like you can say uh, training configuration okay so inside my configuration manager class now let me execute this cell yeah so this thing uh, has already prepared now what i need to do uh if i go to my previous notebook uh, i also need to prepare my callbacks okay so let me prepare the callbacks so i'll come here so first of all i will import time here yeah so now so i'll just copy paste the same thing i will take this class as it is and i will paste it here okay so this is my prepare callbacks uh, uh you can say uh, components okay now let me execute yeah so after that what i what i need to do i also need to create my training uh, components okay so to create training components first of all i will import some of the libraries so these are the libraries are needed actually okay then after that uh i will create one class called training so this training uh, class actually it will take this uh, training configuration okay then uh, here i'm initializing my config okay then after that the first method actually i'm going to write which is nothing but get base model okay so basically this method actually is responsible uh, to get your base model okay so see uh, it will load that model okay here I, i'm using uh, tf models. okay load models then i'm providing my base model file path which is nothing but this path okay so it will load that model from this folder okay then after that it will generate my train validation generator okay so let me show you so if you have already worked with image classification i think you know using keras actually we can generate this uh, training and validation generator okay so basically whenever i train my model i need to give my data like that and here if you see one thing i haven't uh, like split my data to train to split okay so instead of that what i am using actually i am using this uh, keras uh, like you can say generator okay so here if you see i am just uh, uh, telling my uh, validation split would be 0 0.20 that means uh, so here i'm telling 80 percent data would be uh, for my training purpose and uh, 20 percent would be my validation purpose okay so if you are not doing this train test split manually what you can do you can use this uh, okay uh, like you can you can do it like that using keras okay then after that i'm generating my data flow okay so here you need to provide your image size batch size okay and interpolation is equal to uh bilinear then after that here i'm generating my validation as a data generator okay then uh here i'm taking my images okay from this folder okay it will load all the images here then one parameter i think i given remember uh params is, uh, is augmentation okay that means uh if you want to perform data augmentation or not okay this parameter augmentation is equal to true okay if it is true then it will apply some of the data augmentation technique okay in the runtime otherwise it will return as it is okay then similar wise i am also generating my train generator okay so this is your data generator uh like method i have prepared okay so once i have my data ready so now what i need to do i need to start the training okay so let me show you the training method as well so yeah guys this is my uh, training method okay so basically it will uh, first of all uh, calculate your step per epochs and validation steps okay then after that it will uh, like uh, fit your model okay see here i'm giving every uh, everything every like you can see parameters my uh, like you can see epochs number then my data okay everything i'm giving after that what i'm doing once this uh, model is trained okay i also need to save my model but i haven't created this save model method okay so let me also create this method so this method actually i will keep it as static method because uh, i'm not considering it's a class method okay so let me define a static method okay so yeah guys i think that's it so this is your training uh you can say uh stays okay so this thing uh, if it is working fine on the notebook okay i will move this thing okay as a modular coding in our next video okay so let me execute this thing now now this thing is done now i i i need to uh you can say uh call my pipeline okay one by one so uh, this thing you can copy as it is because here we are also running our callbacks okay so i'll copy the same thing and uh, with that actually i also need to call my training uh, related pipeline okay so let me write it here also so this is my training uh, configuration related pipeline okay so basically it will first of all get your training configuration from this configuration manager here if i show you okay this thing 
then after that okay i'm calling this training uh, components okay class then inside that i'm passing this uh, configuration then first of all i'm calling this method get model get base, base model okay then once i got the model i am generating my data okay my train validation data okay i'm generating after that i'm starting the training okay so once it is done it will also save the save the model okay that's it then after that actually i am also writing my exception block now let me execute this code and see like whether it's working or not okay so how many epochs i mentioned if i show you i epoch just only one epoch okay let me see whether it is able to train it or not okay so i'll save this file and let me execute and see see guys uh, it has started uh, so it found like uh, 78 images belonging to class for i think validation and this is the training images okay that that many of images actually you have for the training and see guys it has started the training this epoch is running currently this is your accuracy score this is your loss okay that means everything is, is working fine and inside artifacts actually it has created another folder called training and inside training it hasn't uh, saved anything because it is still training okay once it is like uh, like uh, once it is uh, done okay then it will i think save the model see guys uh, training is done uh, just one epochs i got 60 percent uh, accuracy and this is my loss still i need to train okay if you want good model then i think you can train with multiple epochs okay just for demonstration purpose i have given uh, like you can say uh, one epochs here okay but if you are training you can increase the epochs okay you can give uh, like you can say 400 okay uh, 300 as per your choice okay you just increase the epoch size here like that okay it will train uh, that many of epochs here okay so i'll just give one just for the demonstration and uh see guys it has generated the model model.h5 is there uh, so this is our like you can say trained model okay so we'll be using this model for the prediction itself okay so that means guys it is working perfectly okay in our notebook so and guys uh, one thing actually uh, i forgot to show you uh, so actually uh, like after training actually it will also generate the callbacks okay because we have also added the callbacks so if you see here it has created one folder called prepare callbacks inside that it has uh, saved some of the callbacks okay like our checkpoint directory and my tensorboard uh, like you can say log directory so if you expand this folder so here you can see it has created with this with this timestamp okay and inside that actually it has saved all the callbacks okay all the logs actually tensorboard logs so if you want to see the see this okay as a dashboard so i'll show you like how to run this thing okay but before that let me also show you the checkpoint directory okay inside checkpoint directory here if you see it has only set one model because we only train uh one epoch okay that's why so these are the callbacks actually it will save okay uh whenever it will be uh like training so now if you want to see the tensorboard logs okay so there is a command actually you need to execute so i'll just clear my terminal okay so the command is just write tensorboard tensor tensor board okay uh space hyphen hyphen log dir okay log dir uh, then you need to pass equal to then it is artifacts okay inside artifacts i have uh, prepared uh, callbacks prepare callbacks okay then inside i have something called tensor board okay tensorboard log directory now if i execute this command uh, it will start this dashboard okay in our local host okay so let me show you see guys it's running now see this local host is running now if you just press control and right click on top of it okay it will uh, open up your local host so let me show you see guys it has opened my local host here okay and this is the tensorboard ui okay so here if you see all the all the logs okay all the logs uh here you can't see any graph because i only trained uh, one epoch and if you just hover it here you will see all the values and everything okay so uh, it's great actually you can explore this thing there are many uh you can see information you will get okay so here if you see this is my uh, accuracy versus iteration and this is my uh, loss version iteration okay all the graph actually you can see here even you can also see the histogram image okay everything you can see okay so this is one of the amazing tool like to uh, like you can say track your uh, training okay uh, you can also convert it to image i think okay histograms it, everything is possible here okay so this is one of the like best tool uh, to uh, explore your uh, you can say uh, training logs and everything okay you can just uh, explore this thing in our pre uh, like next video actually i'll be converting this thing as a modular coding okay as we are doing from very scratch so now what i need to do i also need to commit the changes so i'll open my terminal 
so i'll just write git add okay then git uh, commit training notebook add it then git push origin main so yeah guys that's it okay so thank you so much for watching this video and i will see you next time